everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Never Too Late. Kim here. I am here with you today with a Timu haul. I have kind of a theme going. It is um, kind of a Halloween spooky fall season. I've thrown cat stuff in because, you know, black cats and Halloween kind of go together. So um, anyway, uh, if you're back for another video, I'm so happy to have you come back and visit me again. And if this is your first one, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love if you would, if you enjoy my content and, um, you can always hit the notification bells if you want, notification bell, if you want to get notification when my videos are released. And as always, um, if you have anything, you know, let me know what you think about the things I'm showing you. Um, I will try on the clothes. Let me know how they, how you think they look or work. Um, I'm always happy to have your opinions to kind of help me sometimes decide about things and, um, also, likes and comments help my video get seen more, so I appreciate those all the time. All right, um, if you are have watched my videos before, you will notice something different. Um, yeah, I did get my hair colored yesterday. Got kind of this um, fall auburn color. I did kind of pick two different options for my hair and did a little video and um, let people vote, and this is... The Auburn was the decision, um, and I love it. I love it. And let me just first say that I will never put anything up for a vote, outfit, hair color, whatever, and I will only give options that I'm 100% happy with. <laughs> so I will never give you, give anyone an option to vote on is something that I am not willing to do or don't want to do, so just know that if I, I do it. I'm sure I'll do it again because it's kind of fun. I actually, honestly kind of enjoy Especially when I really can't decide between two things. And, I, and that was definitely the case um, with the hair. Um, but anyway, I, I kind of had fun just waiting to see. I, I, I think it's a lot of fun. So anyway, we'll probably do it some more. But let's get started. I'm just going to go through everything. And then um, I'll try stuff on. And we will see. Okay. I have my little cheat sheet that has the prices and the sizes. Um, I will, hopefully within a day put up the links to everything in this haul. Um, I know I've been really behind on that. I'm not, I've not been good about that. That is something I definitely, I'm working on improving. Um, and I think once I have a computer and editing software and I start editing videos, rather than just throwing them up, I will, I, I will be much better about that at that point. Um, so in the new year, but, um, anyway, it, if before I put up the links, if there's anything that you're interested in and you would like to have the link to a little sooner, please, please leave it in a comment. I'm so happy to um, give you the links. I mean, I'm not getting anything back. I don't get any money or credit or anything. So, um, but if you see something you like, I'm so happy to, you know, throw the link up there so that you can enjoy it too or figure out if it's something you actually do want. Um, Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing is this shirt. Oh, Halloween shirt. I think I've had Halloween shirts in the past, and I have a lot of Christmas stuff, which I'm going to go through this year because I don't wear a lot of it. I've just grown out of it. Not necessarily size-wise, although some of it is absolutely size-wise, but just, you know, the things I like, what I, I don't know just changed and I don't gravitate to them anymore so um I'm pretty sure the Halloween one I'm sure to have does not fit me anymore but um you know if you love and I'm sure when you see the shirt you will know the movie that this is in reference to um if not it's hocus pocus I will tell you um I saw this and I was like, I, I bought this so long ago because I saw it and I'm like, I'm not letting it sell out. I'm getting it. Um, it was $7 and 19 cents and it is a large and I love it. I love the, you know, the fall color and I love, it's very soft. Um, I just love it. I can't wait. I'm going to, I'm going to like just wash, wear, wash, wear. I will wear it at least once a week until Halloween. <sighs> anyway, I love it. I'm so excited. And... I'm going to show you this a little bit out of order because I got earrings. They actually had earrings that kind of match. So let me find, here they are. Okay, so these earrings were $2.24, but you get two pairs. 
So two pairs for $2.24. I apologize for the rustly sounds. Okay, so let me show you the two pairs. The first pair is this one with the wigs. The wigs of the three sisters. That's the one I'm going to wear with the shirt for sure. And then this one is just a little kind of Halloween spooky earrings with a bat, a pumpkin, and a little ghosty. And I have, you know, I've, if you've seen this trend, I've seen it, seen it on um, in YouTube videos. I think it's such a cute idea. Why don't I think of these things myself? But people are going and going to thrift stores, yard sales, whatever, taking a, a painting and then, or a picture. It could just be a, 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 a you know, a print picture, but whatever. Buying something that's inexpensive, uh, wall art, and, and then, putting ghosts in it, painting ghosts, and like just making it seasonal to hang up as a decoration. Brilliant. What a great idea. So, um, you know, I'm thinking about maybe trying to get some of my friends together and go, let's have a paint night and do this. Um, and maybe for Christmas too, how cute would it be to take a landscaping and maybe decorate it with, um, in a Christmas theme, like maybe a small picture you just hang up. I don't know might do that but anyway so cute so basically each pair was a little over a dollar I just I love them I love them so much I can't wait to wear them um okay next is leggings oh oh these leggings I also bought these a long time ago but I was like oh these are just kind of perfect for like a Halloween oh and yes I dropped something if you watch my videos you know that that's very normal thing. These cat leggings. I'm just going to show you them. Okay. So here's the top. Not that exciting, but look at the, look at the leg. And then the other leg is just kind of a continuation of the pattern, but look at the leg with the cat. And then the back is just, you know, kind of, I love these so much. They're very soft very stretchy. I did get an extra large in these and they were $7.59. But how cute are they? And I mean, these to me, yes, I think they fit very well into a Halloween themed outfit for sure. But God, going back to the eighties for sure, for sure. Um, but anyway, I do think, um, I will wear these year round. <laughs> I love cats. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm, they look like they're definitely going to fit me. If anything, they could be a little loose, but I just don't, I don't really care. Um, yeah, love them. And then let me show you the earrings that I think are so cute to go more with them. And I'm doing everything out of order, which is why I'm having to really look at my list. Okay. <laughs> and figure out which I have three different packages of Halloween earrings that I couldn't resist and I'm trying to figure out what I called each one to distinguish them for myself. Okay, this is another set of two pairs of earrings. Is it two? No, it's three. This is three. This is really not just Halloween. These are just three cat themed earrings that I think fit into different holidays. Um, it was $1.79 for all three pairs. You can't beat that. And this is kind of the Halloween cat, you know, the, the puffed up hissing, put all their fur out to look as big as possible cat. I call it Halloween cat. I do. I, that's, when my cats would do it, I don't have cats currently, but um, I have had cats most of my life. Um, and when they would do that, I would call it the Halloween cat pose. But anyway, so you have the kitty cats. I mean, they're all cats, but in different. And then these are more Christmas themed. So this is a little cat that got into the Christmas tree and took all the lights. And okay, quick story. My dog Gimli, if you've seen any of my videos with um, my dogs, Gimli is the is the one that's the Beagle Basset. He's Beagle, half Beagle, or part Beagle, part Basset. Looks kind of like a Basset Hound. White, mostly white with brown spots and some black spots on him. Just this, he is the best dog. He's so patient with his annoying brother. <laughs> but um, when we first got him, we would we had a gate on our living room, and he was free to roam the living room. But he was at that point still like 
chewing on things. Um, and not when we got him from the shelter, he wasn't completely uh, house trained. So we had like, you know, the pads, the pee pads down for him and had, you know, kind of gotten the room to where it was, you know, there weren't things that he would chew on. Um, but I had these lights that I actually had gotten from Ikea a, a while ago and there were these stars about this big stars and I had them around the window pane and they hung down and they were so pretty and somehow he got around those lights got them all twisted around him and then twisted around a table leg and when I came home he was like sitting like this with them twisted around him and he was like attached to the table leg and he couldn't move and I never thought that lights would be something he could get into and hurt himself with so now I know with my dogs if I'm ever I, I a new thing I know to look for um but uh, he just was like looking at me I was like oh my god thank goodness you didn't strangle yourself I mean it was scary for me and I was I went back through the room again and I'm like oh god is there anything else you can do anything with any cords need to be put up high taped to the wall <laughs> nothing else can be anywhere where he can wrap it around himself um anyway he's fine he was fine he was not hurt but it was scary but this makes me this just makes me think of that because that's kind of what he looked like but with starlights oh Gimli I love that boy but here's another one this is just a kind of another version of getting into the Christmas lights still reminds me of Gimli okay guys Sorry, I know I say guys, I'm trying not to say it anymore because I don't want to, you know, call someone something they're not. But um, when I say guys in my mind, I'm saying, hey, hey, everyone, um, I'm just noticing my hair and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm not, I have no regret. I think sometimes I do stuff with my hair or things and I, not regret, regret is not true regret, but I will think, oh, I don't know. But no, I have none of that. I love it. Okay. Done admiring my hair. Let's move on. Okay. I got a sweatshirt. This is also a black cat moment. This just looked so unbelievable cozy for just hanging around the house, watching TV at night, like putting on after I get out of the shower or something like that. And it was, I got this in an extra, no, it's a 1XL. So this was in the um, plus size uh, collection and it was nine dollars and two cents but look at this I don't know I do what I want oh I was trying to read it upside down I do what I want and anyone that has lived with a cat knows that that is a hundred percent true um so it, it, it's just it's long let me show you so it's long enough. If I put a pair of leggings on, this would be so cozy. If the sleeves aren't too long, but they're, you know, it's not real thick. So it's not real thick. It's it's kind of thin. So I think it would work. Look, it's got the, look at the hood. Look at the hood. Ah! Yes, I love this. I'm really not a grown-up. I pretend to be a grown-up. But I'm not. It does have a it has pockets too. It does have pockets. But anyway, I think this is so cute. And I think it's, I could wear it in the winter and just put like heavier leggings underneath it. But I could also, I think, wear it in the spring and fall, maybe even the summer because it's not that thick. So anyway, love this. And you know, with something like this, it's going to be bad. It doesn't have to fit perfectly. It doesn't have to fit great um, because you know, I'm just basically going to be wearing around the house. Now if, it, if I put it on and it's super cute, there's always the possibility I might wear it out with leggings underneath it and some black boots. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So moving on, what is next? Okay. Here we go. This book. The one I dropped, um, this got really squished, but I thought this was cute. And this was once again, I think meant to be a kid's purse. Oh, well, um, it was a dollar 88. It is so squishied. I'm gonna have to put some um, something in it to kind of help it get its shape back. It's actually popping back pretty well, um, surprisingly. But it does have a strap that you can attach. It's 
got the little grommets here and you can just tie it on and attach it. It does not have pockets or anything like that. It's just a small little bag just to carry, but cross body, you guys have a little strap if you wanted. Um, cross body wise, what a cute little bag just to throw a few things in, your phone, your lipstick, your, you know, whatever. Um, and look at the little face with the whiskers and the little heart shaped nose for $1.88 can't can't you know it's it's really funny this morning I have a thing hanging up with my sunglasses and my husband was walking by the door and I was standing there and I had a pair of sunglasses to hang up and it was full there was no more room and he is like he's like well I guess you can't buy any more sunglasses and I was like yeah like that's gonna happen I'm like sorry I already ordered another one to hang more <laughs> And he laughed because he knows me. <laughs> he already knew that there were going to be more sunglasses. Anyway. Cute. All right. Moving on. I said that was $1.88. Yes. Okay. I got a little belt. Um, And this is kind of a weird little belt, but I like it. It's very, can I call it dark bohemian? Is that a thing? <laughs> I mean, there's all these styles now, and then there's like a dark version of them. There's like fairy, cottagecore, dark cottagecore, academia, dark. I don't know what all of them exactly are, but um, anyway, I'm going to call this dark bohemian. <laughs> but it's just a, um, it's a little bit, it's not too stretchy, but it's just a like kind of a braided, um, it feels like cloth. And um, then it has almost like felt. And then it has these little leaves with some little sparkles on them. So, you know, you could just use it as a little belt to tie and have something hanging down, which I think in the fall could be really cute. Um, winter, definitely. So anyway, got this little belt. Plenty of uh, room in it for uh, all sizes. It's very, it's a one size fit all. If you were a smaller girl, or guy, you could twist it around probably twice. Anyway, the belt was a dollar nineteen, and I just I loved like the sparkles and just the I don't know. It just spoke to me a little bit. So okay, I got to get moving. I'm being way too, way too chatty today again. All right, next up we have. I'm trying, I've skipped over so many things that I'm like okay, not that. Okay, this is my last pair of earrings. And I saw these and I just, I was like, I have to have them because they were a dollar seven. And these, wait until you see them. Hold on, I'm trying to get them out. Look at that. It's like a flower ghost. It's a 60s ghost. They're, it looks like they're made out of wood and painted. Um, it's hard to tell sometimes when you're looking in the picture and I don't usually look at the description enough to figure out if they are actually made from wood or that, um, hard plastic, whatever it's called. Um, anyway, look at those. I will definitely wear these. I'm going to have to put on one of my like flowery skirts and, um, and wear these. I love it. I love like my little sixties, early seventies flower power Halloween earrings. I like the strangest things, but these just, and look, it's got the little peace signs. I love them. I love them. Silly things make me so happy. You know, I find that simple little things make me happy, and it's just so easy to be happy when little things make you happy because you can find them. <laughs> so I don't try to control that part of myself because it just makes me happy more often. Um, Okay, we did the earrings, earrings, earrings. Okay, I have two things left, a necklace and a pair of boots. Okay, so the necklace was $1.79. And this isn't particularly Halloween or anything like that, but it is black and it just looks a little bit. It is a choker-ish, but black. Isn't that pretty with the black beads? And it has a little bit of a shimmer to, a sparkle to it. The beads are a little shimmery. Um, let's try it on. I thought it was very pretty. I mean, I, it's definitely not something that you would wear with everything or wear every day, but I think with the right 
I think that's stunning with the right dress. Like, I'm almost imagining this with some type of dress, and I think it would be, I'm trying to think. I think it would be stunning. Oh, I don't have my ring light on. That's why my glasses aren't all glary. I forgot to turn my ring light on. But you know what? I think the lighting is fine today. Gosh, I love my hair. Sorry. <laughs> I just keep getting a look at it and going, ah, I love that. It's just fun and different, you know? I think, like, changing things up a little bit just, it's fun to me. I mean, it's not fun for everyone, and, and that's fun. Fine. I mean, there is nothing wrong with finding what you love and sticking with it. If that is what makes you happy, gives you joy, then that is absolutely 100% what you should do. Um, but I think me personally, changing things up just is fun. I like just, and I think part of it is that, <sighs> I'm trying to think of the way to say this, but I feel like my personality has just so many different dimensions. Like I, I have a hard time saying like, say what type of movies do you like? What kind of music do you like? What kind of anything do you like? And my list is like this long. I mean, I just tend to like such a variety of things that I feel like there's little parts of my personality that different things bring out. And this hair definitely, you know, it's just a different, side of me and I think I have fun trying to find like the different sides and bring out some of the different sides so I love changing things up okay moving on I am way too talky all right the boots they are size seven and they are they were $19.39 and let me get them out I really want these to fit and they did come in this really pretty like almost like a honey brown color um, like that golden brown. I love that color. Amber almost. Um, they're a little darker. I don't know. I'm trying to, but, um, here they are. And these are obviously faux leather. They don't look particularly, um, like real leather, but that's okay. I don't care. Um, but anyway, they, they, they do, um, lace up, but they have on the side, a little zipper to let you get in them easier and then they have a zipper to match on this side just for decoration oh sorry i'm not even sure <laughs> i'm so sorry we have the zipper on this side also and the the uh a little buckle but let me show you yeah zipper here that lets you into them a little bit of a heel but not much um i just they just have a little bit of that a different look than any of the boots that i have just kind of a little bit more of a I don't want to say edgy because these were definitely not that edgy, but you know what I mean. Just a little bit of a, I don't know. I like them though. For the winter, I just think they're great in the fall. Um, plus, they just really look like I would be able to wear them when it was wet outside or, you know, yucky weather or whatever. They just look like those kind of boots to me. So, very excited about these and I hope they fit. All right. I don't have very much to try on. I think I just have the sweatshirt. The sweatshirt, the t-shirt, the leggings, and the boots. And I can do, you know what? I'm going to do all of them in one. I can do. I'll put the sweatshirt on over. All in one. Look at that. All right. I will be right back to show you. And hopefully everything works. I am really confident with this one that I'm not going to have fitting issues. The only thing I, I might be is the shoes. So I will be right back. Okay. First off, I did put on the earrings with the the Sanderson sisters wigs from Hocus Pocus. Um, I did not watch Hocus Pocus 2 last year. I wanted to, but I forgot and I just, I didn't. So I have that to look forward to. I'm very excited to watch it this year as well as the original. I'll watch them probably back to back. Probably do a bingey thing. But anyway, let's start with this. See if I can get my little ears. Okay. <laughs> Okay, maybe not that much. Maybe not that much. Okay. Anyway. Cute. I will be warm and cozy. Ah. Love it. All right. Here you go. Um, I will say, I do... Here's how far the arms come. So, it's kind of a three-quarter length sleeve. Um, one thing I will say, the material feels 
definitely leans more towards the polyester side and um, so it does have a little bit of a polyester feel it is not bothering me it's very soft so it's not bothering me it's not one of the ones that feel like textury I don't know there's one polyester feel that just gives me the heebie-jeebies I can't I can't can't do it anyway this one is okay so here it is with the leggings I think it looks really cute I think it looks super cute with the leggings. Show you the shoe. I'm going to put the chair in the right. I need to get a stool, but until then, we will have to make do with a chair. Um, here's the boots. I like them. Um, don't, don't pay no attention to the lacing up job I did really quickly and badly. Um, they fit very snugly. They definitely fit very, you know, they fit my foot exactly. Um, I will say that the top, and I think part of it might be that I didn't lace it up very well. The tongue is like hitting a little, sorry. <clears throat> ah, you know, it starts get the air starts getting drier and my throat starts getting drier. And I'm so sorry. Hydration. It's good to hydrate. Let me just, sorry, needed that. As the air gets drier, bleh, my throat gets drier. Anyway, I like them. They fit really well. I think I need to pull the tongue up a little tighter and, you know, just kind of work them in a little, but I do like them. And I really have been, I'm going to wear them a while before I decide on getting them in another color, but I really have been really thinking about getting some Doc Martens. Um, and I know these are not the exact, these aren't, but these to me, I had a close enough feeling in my head, look in my head to let me know if I would actually wear them. If that makes sense. Cause Doc Martens aren't, that expensive shoe wise, you know, in this grand scheme of expensive shoes, but they're not cheap. They're not inexpensive. So I wanted to make sure it was something I really would wear before I got them. I do know that they last forever too and are very high quality. So, um, anyway, I wanted to give these a try. I like them though. I like the way they look. I'm looking at my big mirror. I like the way they look. I think they just give a whole different look than, than some of the boots that I have. And I love that. Okay. The shirt take this off. Ugh. Throw it over into the needs to be washed so I can actually wear a pile. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> I know this might not be the most flattering color and I, you know, I much prefer women's cut t-shirts or, you know, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of regular t-shirts on me. Um, but yeah, if I do that, I like it a little bit better. Yeah, I like it. I love it. I love it for what it is. Um, and with the earrings. Ah! I may be wearing this to work on Monday with my black jeans. And these boots. <laughs> that might be a thing. Anyway, that is all that I have today. Um, let me know what you thought. I, I, I think I'm ready. I love these pants. Pants, let me tell you a little bit. Very comfy. Very, very comfy. They're not real thick. So they're not going to be good necessarily for super cold weather. Um, but I think they'll be good for most, most of the time. Um, anyway, I think these, this is a great haul. I am so excited. I have fun earrings to wear for the next month. I will get as much use out of this shirt as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I think this is a good one. Um, I want to say that I so appreciate anyone that comes and watches my videos. I really do enjoy making them and um, it, it's just such an amazing, awesome thing that, that People come and watch them. I was I definitely didn't think that was going to be a thing. I thought I was just going to be making videos just for me for fun. Um, but anyway, it's it's amazing. Um, 
please let me know in the comments what you think of everything. Any, you know, also, are there any ideas of videos you'd like to see me do? I have some ideas for some things. Um, I, I have kind of a, a series of videos I want to do based on, you know, just the whole thing about what you should and shouldn't wear. I'm not a big fan of generalizing what people of size or age or complexion or anything should or shouldn't wear. So I'm kind of working on putting together like a series about that. Um, so anyway, I definitely have some more uh, thrift store things that I, and, and, projects that I want to do to try to turn into different things, but I really need to get my craft room a little bit ready so I have, can get my sewing machine out and have more access and like remind myself how to use my sewing machine. I'm gonna need some YouTube videos for how to do the bobber, how to load up the bobbin. <laughs> Definitely need to find a YouTube video for that one or just buy a new sewing machine because that thing's probably 30 years old. Um, I may end up just buying a new sewing machine that is a more up to date and actually has like an owner's manual um anyway anyway that stuff i'll probably start doing more of once i do get that room going and i'm gonna start working on that soon i'm um, just getting it uh, to a usable area not a decorated way but just a usable so anyway upcoming but holidays are also coming up so you know i don't know how fast i'm gonna be at anything because holidays are kind of special and i do kind of tend to go a little I like to decorate and, you know, do stuff. So anyway, I'm rambling again. Anyway, thank you for joining me. As I said before, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to uh, have you come join our little community here. Um, I have to say, I there's so much love and support in the comments um, from this little, my little, uh, our little community. And it, it's just such a beautiful thing. And um my husband and I were talking this morning about how, you know, the internet and social media can be both a good and a bad thing, uh, um, both a toxic place in some situations and also a very um, supportive place where you actually can kind of find a feeling of community and a feeling of um, belonging. And, um, you know, that's what I my ultimate hope would be that this channel would be a place where people could come and watch things and, you know, suggest things and, um, you know, find that kind of sense of community and of belonging and of, you know, being in a space where people uh, can respect you and we can be respectful of each other and kind to each other. And that is what I have seen so far. And I thank you all for that. It is amazing and beautiful and what the world needs more of. So thank you for for helping me and for showing me so much goodness in the world. Um, anyway, sappy, sappy, sappy again. Sappy and silly. I should just not make it on a t-shirt. I am sappy and silly. But I am, so that's fine. Anyway, and disorganized. <laughs> anyway, um, I really... Do appreciate you watching, and um, if you have anything to 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 say, if you want to comment on the clothes or anything, ask for links or more information about anything. Put that in the comments below, and also any suggestions for videos maybe you would kind of like to see. Is there something you would like to see me do or try? I don't know. Let me know. And um, as always, remember that it is never too late. It's never too late to try something new, to step a little bit outside of your comfort zone, to learn, you know? I mean, this week has been an interesting week, and it's definitely had some highs and some lows, but it's been a week of learning, and, and that's what I'm taking from it, you know? I'm taking the learning from it and the support. Um, so, yeah, it's never too late to learn. It's never too late to, you know, see something positive that you can take out of even a negative situation. Um, so 
Go out there, step out of your comfort zone, even if you just take it. I mean, just even if you're just taking a tippy tip of your toe outside of your comfort zone, you know, that is great. That is wonderful. Stepping outside your comfort zone does not have to be a huge leap. It can be this, this tiny, tiny little inch or centimeter outside, and that is great. Um, so anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, I appreciate you all and I thank you all for taking your time and spending your time with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody.